What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be taking a bit of a side quest, because in our last episode, we finally got ourselves the Surf Technique, and, well, there's going to be quite a few places with bodies of water to actually help us out and all that stuff. So, let us continue right here in Jubilife City. Now, first things first, we do have five badges. I kind of want to... Let's see, let's see. Jubilife TV, that's not the place to go. We're going to go into the place where they created the Jubilife, uh, the Poketech watches. And uh, we are now enabled to grab uh, quite a few more Poketech apps. And, well, let's see, developing more apps. And uh, let's see. Ha ha. I'm the president of the Poketech apps. And we're going to be getting a memo pad. That's pretty cool. And, well, let's see. Let's see, what is another one? We're going to be getting a marking map. And, let's see. And this one is a link searcher, which basically gets any kind of like link Pokemon or link trades and stuff. And well, since we've already earned what five badges, that will give us a little bit more. Now I do think I forgot. I, th I think I forgot at a an app over in uh, what was it called uh, in Celestic Town. But we will be back. We'll be back in a few episodes to get that. So. What we're going to be doing here is there might be a few items that we can grab right here just because we're surfing. So that is the name of the game. We're going to be surfing. We're going to be grabbing items because, well, we can. And there's nothing right here. So, yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff right here, guys. You know, Draven likes to talk. He likes to give you guys stories. And, well, here we have a Psyduck. We're not going to be battling that. And here we have a hidden item, which is an HP up. Anywho, um, wow, episode 18. Episode 18, and we are kicking some butt. We are kicking some butt when it comes to making this walkthrough right here, because, like, you know, honestly, again, I've been dreading it, just playing this walkthrough, and here we get ourselves a C instance. This one can be used to actually evolve or, well, breed a, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was his name? Bidoof, or no, not Bidoof, but uh, Meryl. So, let's see. We're gonna be going back into the PC, so I'll be right back with you guys because we do need a Bidoo for this kind of set, this kind of situation. Okay, so you know what really frustrates me? Just segueing on to this whole thing right here is the fact that we do need HMs. It's it's utterly ridiculous, guys. I know. So anywho, we're gonna be taking a tour of every little spot that we've actually covered and that needed surf. As you guys can see, we're going to be going into this cave right here, which needed a surf in the first place. And it will be taking us towards you know, a hidden spot right here. Look at that. There's an item right there and an item right here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves the TMO3 Water Pulse, which, you know, can cause confusion. It's a very, very powerful water type move. I'm obviously not going to teach it to, uh, not going to, teach it to my uh, Poseidon because it already knows surf. That's one good uh, water type move that I need. And obviously, we do need a Pokemon with a Rock Smash. As you guys can see, look at that. Whoever made this is just a cruel, cruel person. Holy crud. Anywho, here we have the Luck Incense. So, let's go right ahead and use... Let's see, an Escape Rope if we have one. Let's see. Come on. I know we have an... Okay, so we got four Escape Ropes, okay? And just like always, guys, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing because, well... It, yeah, there really isn't a lot of stuff that you you guys want to see. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fly in straight to Florama Town because there is a spot right there where we can go and uh, check out a few things. So as you guys know, Florama Town is a place where we started off our adventure with Team Galactic. Now, if you go right here, you're gonna be finding yourself some interesting things behind the Valley Windworks, and obviously. We're going to be encountering Tentacool and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves the Electrizer, which can be uh, held by which can be held by Electabuzz in order for it to evolve via trade. Now, I kind of feel like there's an item right here. So let's go right ahead and yes, I was correct. I was correct and there's another item right here. So here we found ourselves a Max Elixir. And well, let's go right ahead and continue our little expedition right here. Yes, this whole episode right here, guys, is going to be about going into the sections where you can surf and grab some items. And here we found ourselves the TM24 Thunderbolt. That right there is a big one, especially for Pokemon such as, like, you know, my Electro, my Electro Star. So let's see. 
If we go right here, this one will take us to another section right here. And believe it or not, it is a it is the next place that we, we needed to go to. And that is, let's see, the Valley Windworks. It's gonna be right up here. Look at that, it's taking us to the Fuego Iron Ironworks and the backside of the Florama Town uh, flower areas. And believe it or not, guys, this place is where you can actually capture yourself a magmar. And, uh, well, if I could, I would. I would capture a magmar, and I would evolve it into ma magmordar. But the thing is, you guys already know. I got the emulator right here, and, uh, yeah, I kind of just... I kind of want to stick with the Pokemon I have right here, because it's... Like, I'm having fun with it. So, here we are in the Fuego Ironworks, the home of the Molten Foundries. And this one is a pretty big one right here, so as you guys can see, this is kind of like an abandoned uh, building, but really it's not. And, uh, well, it does have its, uh, you know, little puzzle right here, the Team Rocket puzzle. So here we go. We found ourselves an iron or a yellow shard. And, well, our repel has worn off, and I don't think any Pokemon can attack us right here. So let's see. Let's go up here, and we're going to be battling this guy. So let's go right ahead and battle him, and as you guys can see, it, this guy does have... Well, this guy is at level 33, so we, 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 we could use these guys for experience points. And look at that, level 32, and he's going to be coming out with Monchoke right here. Let's go with a fly attack, and yes, I do see my clicker right there, so I'm going to take that out of the way. And, well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Not right there. This seems to be very, very easy, like the, the puzzle, because, well, shoot, they're not really promoting much stuff right there, so let's go right ahead and do that. Let's waste all our potions. There we go, and let's see what we can actually find right here. This is a calcium. Good for, you know, good for your attack stat and all that stuff, and or not attack stat, but I think it's special attack. And, well, let's see, what else can we find? We've already been here, so now we got to go to this section. And obviously, I'm going fast because, well, shoot, these things, just like the game, it takes a long time. And, well, here we're going to be battling a Magnemite. And here's a lock on it. will never miss. And coming out with another Magnemite, let's go right ahead and go with Gaia number two and go with that Brick Break. And let's go ahead and do it again. Now, here's another funny story. Didn't realize that... You know, Magnezone was in this generation. If I knew, then I probably would have chosen a different Pokemon uh, for an electric type and all that. And, well, it looks like to me this is not the way to go. Let's go right here, down here, speed it up a little. Look at that. We found ourselves another Pokeball, and that is a blue shard. So I'm assuming that you're going to be finding shards around here. And, well, let's see. Grab this, and we found ourselves a green shard. Now remember, there is an individual next to the Pokemon Mansion, which will teach you Pokemon moves for a certain amount of shards. And, well, let's see. If we go right here. Okay, so that is good. And what if we go... Yeah, okay, so here we are. Firestone. We got ourselves another Firestone, which is good. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go here. This is where it's going to get tricky. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope. Right here. No. Nope. Oh, that's going to lead us out here. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so that right there. So, let's see. Okay, that goes right there. Right there. Let's see. That goes... Crap baskets. Screw it. Uh, let's go right here. And we're going to be battling a trainer. So that... Right, okay, so that was actually a good idea. And here we're taking on a Magmar for the first time. And just like that, we get some more experience points. And now that we're out of the, the whole the whole puzzle right here, we got to be careful with going up here, grabbing this. And we found ourselves a Rock's Incense, which is a very good item for any kind of Rock-type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so if we go right here... There it is, guys. We finally made it towards the very end. And then we just need to grab this. And here we found ourselves the TM35 Flamethrower, a very needed item. And let's talk to this guy. 
Mr. Fuego, well, hello! It's not often that I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with moving floor tiles, but no one uh, was happy about it. They said that the moving floor get, gives them sicky or g gives them dizzy. But you don't want to listen to me, wine. Here's a souvenir, and here we get ourselves a star piece, which, well, I guess it, it actually works. And, well... Okay, so, okay, so what if we trade? Yes, let's go ahead and trade. Uh... Let's see, roughly nothing but iron, but okay, um, never mind, okay, so never mind. Anywho, um, I think that's pretty much it for this one. I don't think there's another, oh, there is another item right there that we haven't gotten, I think. Let's see. No, actually, we grabbed them all, I think. I think that was the one that we were talking about. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, we grabbed them all, so let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here, somehow. Um, let's go down here. Okay, that would have taken us right here. Going back here. Yeah, we're speeding it up just because we, we, we want to get the heck out of here. And it looks like to me that we can't use an escape rope here because, well, shoot. Why bother? And, well, let's go right here. There we go. And, okay, so there is no escape. What the hell? Okay, escape rope. Please don't do me wrong. Let's see. Damn it. Okay, so we have to get out of here somehow. I don't know. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll be right back with you guys when we're getting out. Okay, so that wasn't that hard. Okay, so that right there was the iron, f uh, the Fuego Ironworks, and believe it or not, this is the place where you can actually capture yourself a Magnemite and a Magmar. Now there is something right here that is hidden to us. If you go right here, nope. Actually, we're back at it. So what we're gonna do now is we gotta go straight back to the place where we served. And let's go right ahead and take care of that. Or we could just surf on, onto that area right there. So let's see if that actually works. Yeah, we're walking. And bam, we're surfing. Okay, so yeah, our repel has gone off. So let's go right ahead and use another repel. And so now that we've completed this section right here, let's go right ahead, go towards the backside right here in Florama Town. And here we are in the Florama Meadow. This right here is actually, you know, the backside of the meadow that you first went into. And, well, there's no Pokemon, but you will be able to find yourself a Miracle Seed. And, well, what else can we actually find right here? Oh, yeah, look at this. Another seed or another metal right here. Here we have ourselves an Ultra Ball. And, well, let's see. There might be some more items right here. Yes, a Leaf Stone. Can never go wrong with leaf stone. And well, let's see what else can we actually find. Oh yes. Here we found ourselves a rare candy. Another useful item right there. So that right there covers this whole section right here. And well, let's see. Let's go to let's go to Jubilife now. No, Eterna City. Okay, so let's go to Eterna City. So in Eterna City. There was, what, two sections right here where you can actually surf, or one? Could be wrong. Let's see. Let's put on a repel just in case. And, well, let's see. Okay, so I think, yeah, we don't need to surf around here. I think. So, we're going to be going to, let's see, we're going to be going, not to the digger's house. We're going to be going right here. And, oh yeah, okay, so... We can go right here, and there will be some items right here in this part, so let's go right ahead and surf, and there you'll be finding an open space, and you'll be finding yourself a moonstone, which is always nice to have, and, well, let's go right down here, and there's another open section right here, and there's nothing, huh? Okay, so I'm clicking at those buttons right there. So that's that, and again, another repel. Okay, so, you, again, you gotta love the repels and all that stuff, and, well, I think there's a section right here where we couldn't go to because we couldn't surf. So, let's see, we battled this person, and, yeah, we, we don't need to surf on this one. Okay, so there is a spot right here, I think. I'm gonna be very cool about this. Let's go ahead and use a repel. And, yes, we can actually grab a Pokeball right here. We don't have strength just yet, and here we get ourselves an ice heal, which is always nice. So I was thinking about the other, about the other um, 
the other entrance to Mount Coronet. So let's go right ahead and fly. Let's go ahead and fly right over here to Salacion Town, I think. No, that's the wrong place. Okay, so I was incorrect. My bad, guys. Let's go right here. Right here. Orberg City. So in Orberg City, we're going to be using a bike. And we're going to be going right into... Hold on just a sec. Okay. Oh, no. You know what? We don't need that. Uh, let's go. God dang it. Right here. Okay. So what needs to happen now is... We are now enabled to surf, so there's going to be a few places right here where we can actually go to and uh, and grab some items right here. So let's see. Let's see if that's correct. So we can grab this, which is a protein. And let's see. Unfortunately, we can't go up here because we need rock climb. But there's another part right here where we can actually surf and grab this little item. Here we found ourselves a Dawn Stone, which many of you guys already know is the elemental stone that helped our good old buddy Ralts or uh, Curlia evolve. As you guys can see, nobody else can evolve through this. The next elemental stone that we're going to be getting is, well, it's going to be in the next episode or so, I think, I hope. So let's go right ahead and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a, oh, not, not, a, soothe, not a soothe belt, but let's go with a max repel. And let's get the heck out of here. I think there's a, I think there's an area right here where like I didn't get myself an item. So, yeah, we're covering every little thing, guys. Surfing, running, whatever. And here we are in Route 208. Now I do remember that there is a part right here where we didn't get. And there it is. We got ourselves an ether. Okay, so the next part. We're going to be going to, let's see, let's go straight to Veilstone City. And we need to go all the way down to the Veil vale or the Lake Valor uh, entrance because, well, there's going to be a spot right there. There's going to be some spots right here where we need some, uh, we're going to be seeing some items. So, as you guys can see, we get ourselves a rare candy. And, yeah, we're going to be speeding this whole thing up because, well, dang. It's a lot of sections that we covered in a few episodes, and, well, it's never too bad to use a max repel, so let's go right ahead and do that, and, yeah, try and get the heck out of this guy's way. Really do hate people with it, who are in my way and all that stuff. I wish there was, a, like, a push button for this, so, let's see. Alright, so we're going into the Valor Lake front, as you guys can see. We can't do anything right there just yet. But, there's a big old booty, that's right. Go right here into Route 213, and you can actually surf. And let's go ahead and go with the Max Repel right here. And there's a section right there where you can actually rock climb. And there are, okay, so you can actually go through this section right here. If you go down here somewhere, actually, hold on. First is first, let's go ahead and grab this little thing. Rock Smash, there we go. Aerial Ace is a very good move. And it will be used at some point. And here we are in an area where there will be some trainers that you can actually battle. So let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. We can't go through there, so how in the heck do we how in the heck do we go through there? Right here, okay, so still a few items and a few trainers so let's go right ahead and start battling toothless let's go with the dragon rage and there we go dig attack how do we dig if we're in the water i do not know and yes of course we had a we had a what was it we had to bring in bidoof for this guy for fucking or for electro star and well it looks like toothless is finally grow, learning dragon claw so let's go right ahead and replace dragon rage because it's not now that it's a little bit stronger, it's not doing, well, it's not doing the effect that we needed to. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy, and, well, here comes a stab move. Boom. And here comes Pelipper, so let's go right ahead and not use that guy. So let's go right ahead and use this guy. And Metal Claw will be a little stronger, I guess. Pluck attack. Nope. Well, Surf attack. Surf attack again. This guy keeps on protecting. And here comes a Machoke, so let's go straight for Togepi. And fly attack. 
Nearly does it. So here we go again. Fly attack. And this guy is not letting us win right now. Holy crud. Okay. So there we go. See, none of these guys are going to let us win that easily. So let's go right ahead and... Jeebus Kramini. Okay, so... I want to grab an item that's right here somewhere. So let's go right ahead and do that. And... Okay, we are, we're already using our Super Repel. And... This one, we're going to be skinny. We're going to have to be skinny for. And battle this guy right here. And this guy is coming out with a Gyarados. And that right there messes us up, so... Crap baskets. Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. And let's go with a Psycho Cut. And Psycho Cut again. Yes, Gyarados... Yeah, it's a very strong Pokemon. And it looks like to me... Crap baskets. It intimidated me, so... There we go. And... Trying to go with the Swords Dance. And Psycho Cut. There it goes. And it goes to level 34. Now, this is a good place to actually train your Pokemon. So, as you guys can see... We're not doing so hot right now. Let's go with the Grass Whistle and... Okay, so it's been poisoned, so let's Giga Drain it. Giga Drain it again. And there goes our Pokemon. Crap Basket. So most of our Pokemon are getting our butts kicked. This is where we need uh, Electro Star, and just like that we win. Holy buckets. Okay. So there is an item right here, and we're going to grab ourselves a Max Revive. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because... Yeah. Got our butts kicked. Holy crud, Baskets. And let's go with the Moo Moo Milk. Can't go wrong with that. Let's go with the uh, Guy of the Fierce Knight. And Super Potions. About a butt tons of that. So let's go right here. And that guy. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. I think, uh, let's see. We're done with this section. So let's go right here. And I think... There's a Tentacruel, so... Oh, wow, okay, so Tentacruel is not going to want us to escape. Yeah, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need this uh, Max Repel. And, wow, we still linger from it. Good gravy, okay. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. There is a spot right here you can actually surf. And let's go ahead and use a Max Repel. And let's do that. And... Wow, that would have been a double battle right there. So let's go ahead and take on Speedo Torpedo himself. Dig attack. And this guy is just hitting us with all those freaking Fury Swipes. Are you serious? It's like this game is so unfair. Good God. Okay, so let's go with uh, Rosemont right here and go with a Giga Drain. And go it again. Giga Drain, Confusion, good gravy. Oh my God. Okay, so there we go. Defeated another Speedo Torpedo. And obviously, he's not wearing shorts. Not a speedo, so thank you, Arceus. Okay, so there we go. And let's go right ahead and continue our little battle right here. And she's going to have a Finneon. You guys don't know, Finneon, not that great of a Pokemon, but I don't know. That's just my opinion right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, take on Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Psycho Cut. Okay, so Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut. And just like that, we win. Yeah, we need Electro Star, and we're grabbing a Water Stone, which, uh, yeah, and that makes us, what, that makes two Water Stones right there, and I think there is one more right here, one more thing, could be wrong, huh, there's nothing, okay, so let's go right ahead and move on to the next section, the final section of this whole game, or this whole gameplay right here, and that is, we're going to be going to Heart Home City, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon, and in fact, you know what, let's go ahead and switch out some Pokemon, or you know what, we don't need to switch out Pokemon. We're going to be going down Heart Home City, and uh, there are some spots right here next to the Pokemon Mansion that we failed to go to because of Surf, so let's go ahead and find them. Obviously, I'm speeding this up because, well, good gravy, and here we go, and here we found ourselves an iron, which is going to be beneficial to us in the long run. And, well, let's see. There might be another area right here where we can actually surf. It's that section right there. So let's go here, there, and we found ourselves a rose incense. So right now, you guys are just seeing me just go through everything where there's a land of water. I'm, I'm on it right there. So let's go right here. And hold on. Hold the phone. There is an elixir right there, right behind the... 
right behind the sign. That is a cruel joke right there. And then you'll be finding yourself a few berries. And this one right here, too. As you guys can see, bam, we're kicking some butt right now. And getting attacked by Pokemon while we're at it. So, let's see. There is just one little thing that we need to do, and it's going to be raining pretty soon. So there we go. Let's go ahead and use more Max Repels, because, yes, we do not like Pokemon right now. And, well, let's see. Alright, so, here we are in, in, in this section where we needed to get uh, Surf. And, there we go, found ourselves the TM84 Poison Jab. That is going to be needed, and... Let's see, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Surfing and everything. Okay, so... I think the final thing we need to do... Let's go to Pastoria, and there is one little thing I wanted to show you guys, and that is, if you go right here, <coughs> allergies kicking up, you're going to be seeing some ships blocking the way, <coughs> and I'm sneezing like nobody's business, and here we found ourselves a Mystic Water, which of course will power up our water type Pokemon, so yeah, we've... Uh, we did some work for a good uh, half hour right here, guys, and it's a pretty good episode. I, say, I should say so, and, well, in the next episode, we're going to be going to Candelave City. Now that we got Surf, everything is... There's peace in the world, so thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.